At a time of political differences on Capitol Hill, it is rare to find Republicans and Democrats working together. But against the odds, the message of a 10-year-old Virginia girl is cutting through the gridlock as her dying wish becomes a reality. NBC 29's Ed Sykes has more tonight from our state capitol newsroom in Richmond. Good evening, Ed. Steve, good evening. A 10-year-old Gabriella Miller, she suffered from an inoperable brain tumor. Sadly, she passed away a little less than six months ago inside her home in Loudoun County. But tonight, she's not being remembered for why she died, but instead what she helped accomplish. It was Christmas time in 2012, a month after her diagnosis. Just nine years old, suffering from a brain tumor the size of a walnut. Gabriella Miller's work began. She collected tens of thousands of letters to Santa Claus, and Macy's donated a dollar for each one to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. All told, Miller raised a quarter of a million dollars, but she wasn't finished. So what message do you have to our political leaders, our elected leaders, about kids? Like Stop talking and start doing. In 2013, she began lobbying Congress, asking for more money for pediatric medical research. I just have to say it. Talk is bullshit. We need action. Her words got the attention of Virginia Senator Tim Kaine and House Majority Leader Eric Cantor, who worked across the aisle to push a bill through a divided Congress. To put kids with cancer and, and kids with pediatric disease before politics. Gabriella Miller never saw the result. She passed away in October at age 10. But her legacy lives on. For a 10-year pediatric research. The Gabriella Miller Kids First Research Act, signed Thursday afternoon by President Obama, will shift $126 million over the next decade from the Presidential Election Campaign Fund into pediatric medical research at the National Institutes of Health. She really became the inspiration uh, for the effort. An effort that could help save the lives of other children, led by a brave girl who lost her battle but never lost hope. You might have a bad day today, but there's always a bright star to look forward to tomorrow. Congressman Cantor said back in February he and his House colleagues are going to build on this bill, putting forth more legislation to eliminate wasteful programs to put that funding toward more important research at the National Institutes of Health. Ed Sykes live in our state capitol newsroom tonight. Thank you, Ed.